So we're down here at the Othello Tunnel Road. This is the road that goes over to Othello Tunnels. Over there will take you to the highway. And it is so much worse than it was before. Uh, what you guys are seeing are what's left of the few houses that are here. The river is basically now flowing down the Othello Road to the tunnels. It's not going to be too much longer and that house will be completely gone. More of the campground is slowly washing away too. This morning we wanted to get some footage of the Coquihalla and the opposite end of Othello Road. We were approached by a homeowner who was evacuated the day before. They wanted us to use our drone to check on the state of their property, so we did. As you can see, their home is still intact, so their next priority was to gather volunteers to help salvage what they could before the third atmospheric river, which is expected to arrive tomorrow. We drove home, picked up our two teenagers, and returned to help. So we're currently walking on the Othello Tunnel Road. This used to be all forest, and the river originally ran probably about 100 or more feet uh, straight ahead there. It's now completely become the raging river. Their house is, from the drone footage, still in somewhat good shape. Uh, but if we get another storm here tomorrow, you uh, see the car? There's a car in the right here, right there. Holy cow! extremely sad for how many people have lost their homes the homeowners that were right on the corner of Othello Road were working at just the cleanup from the first storm try to repair things the best they could and uh, basically a week later his home's completely gone we still have one more atmospheric river that's coming uh, tomorrow, t uh, Tuesday. And that's supposed to last overnight. And they're saying that this one is going to be stronger than with the one we just had yesterday. Who knows how bad it's going to get. So I just uh, spoke with the uh, BC Hydro and they're going to be cutting the power line over here. So we're just told to be uh, careful that it doesn't slingshot and hit us. Uh, we got search and rescue, doing a patrol. Could be even coming down to land. The news is here. That's one of the gentlemen that have been evacuated from this area. We're now just giving him a hand uh, to his house here. You can hear the helicopters in the background. Uh, the first homeowners we were helping have now got other help. Um, it's really nice to see the community kind of coming together here. Um, we've got everything out that was important. And uh, the homeowners are going to be on their way here. Uh, to all the rescuers, the hydro crews, road crews, uh, thank you for your guys' effort. Uh, Till next time, everyone, uh, especially in BC, uh, take care and stay safe. And we'll see you guys later.